This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Champagne Poppy, when is this album going to come out? He seems like he just keeps going in studio, even when he declares it's done. What's going on here, okay? Uh, LeBron even had to speak up for him the other day and say, like, hey, he's not playing around. He's really going to finish the album. We will see. I think him and Kanye are playing a game of chicken when it comes to release dates right now, and it's getting a little weird. Charlemagne believes that Eminem would get beat by anybody in Versus. Maybe off a of vibe. I don't, I don't know. You know, like Eminem, that's not somebody I listen to in the car all the time, but I respect his craft with lyricists and with like being lyrics and the way his way with words, you know, like his way with words, his wordplay is what makes him so amazing, right? And it, that's a that's a crazy skill. Charlamagne agrees on that, but he agrees he says he has no songs. Now, this is what I think. Charlamagne's just trying to keep that same energy he's had for a while because Eminem dissed him on a song on Kamikaze album where he said, Charlamagne gonna hate anyway, doesn't matter what I say, give me donkey of the day. And then he said, one last time for Charlemagne, if my response is late, is just how long it takes to hit my effing radar. I mean, I think Charlamagne is just trolling to get benchant, to be honest with you. I, uh, he does this often. I think we all do this often, but I, he might truly feel this way. I don't know, you know, I don't know if he'd lose against anybody. But he can't just go up against anybody either because some people just have such timeless songs. You know, he has big songs, don't get me wrong. But um, I don't think he would get washed by anybody. You know, it, he has some really big songs, you know. So I, I think that's kind of a goofy comment, to be honest with you. You can't just say that. But like, he would, couldn't go up against Jay-Z, I don't think, just because Jay-Z has such so, so, songs that resonate with people so much more. Even though Eminem sells more, Jay-Z songs get played in cars more. Let's just be honest, you know? People are playing that more. And then um, there's a lot of people he couldn't go up against. You know, it, it's hard, you know? It's hard to match those things up, you know? But sometimes a mismatch is a match, you know, because the verses goes down differently than you pictured it. Meek Mill is warning somebody. He says, let me know if you hear Mel Carter from Brooklyn, not Hove Neff. The fraud one bringing up my name. Them type of guys no good around here. He redlined from anything around me. I love it when Meek puts threats on Twitter. Meek Mill's whole life is on Twitter. Anything he thinks. It's like he's a nerd. Which is okay. It's okay to be a nerd. Nerd, A nerd is being cool, right? But he's like a nerd where he just has to... He's like... It's almost like he's locked in a room and he can. the only way he can get his thoughts out is through Twitter. It's so weird. He always does this. It's always entertaining in a weird way. Uh, so he says, uh, he's redlined from anything near me. I don't want to deal with anybody dealing with him. Then he says, I'm redlining all frauds that came around me or face card value use uh, me for gain. We laying law down on anything around that come around me and try and get over. Okay, so people that people, sorry, <coughs> that came out. We laying law down on anything around that come around. <laughs> anything around that come around me and try to get over. Okay, uh, we gonna take it back. All right, cool. I mean, it's not good to be using somebody's name. Then he, then he, then quick twist he says i don't want a relationship with anyone now but i want a date i want a consistent person to talk to seems like meek mill's a little lonely <laughs> i want i want you on me but not too much where you keep asking where i'm at you just need someone that's doing their own life and he says oh and i don't want you with anybody else i just want to have fun sign here Dude, girls put that stuff up. I'm going to be honest with you. Girls put a little contract up for their future boyfriend. He's putting this up for his future girlfriend. <laughs> Dude, stop. Get off of social media, bro. <laughs> what happened to him deleting his Instagram and then coming back? He didn't release anything. He deleted it, came back. That's like the artist's uh, like playbook for releasing music. Oh, yeah, he released that one song. Was it for that? A freestyle? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so people are putting 
uh, Lil Durk and Chief Keef in a versus. And people are taking opinions. People say, finally, Rich has all hits. His run of albums on, in mixtapes between 2012 and 2015 alone is enough to win. If they allowing uh, songs they were featured on, his recent run further solidifies it. Going to be Chief Keef. Chief Keef. People really, people say Chief Keef for sure. Then one person says, no disrespect to Dirk. He doesn't stand a chance. Uh, then one person says, uh, oh yeah, some people say Chief Keef walked in so Dirk could run. And then once the, the fact that he had Chief Keef hits from 2012, okay. But someone said, let's not act like uh, little Dirk started rapping last year. He's been in the game for 10 years. That's true. Shoe Palace. So they had a shoe raffle and a fight broke out outside. And uh, someone from Shoe Palace came out to try to break the fight up. And then they took this guy's life with a weapon. That is sad, man. Over some shoes. Over shoes, bro. Shoes. This reminds me when Jordans were big back in the day. And you heard stories of people losing their life over Michael Jordan shoes. Little Bay, uh, little, I'm sorry, the baby gets a comment from Little Wayne. He's asked about this in an interview. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Here we go. All right. So, you know how it does. You know, let's see. What do they say here? Speaking with August Brown for a rare interview at the Los Angeles Times. <laughs> They spoke they speak about his meeting with the past president. Then they also say thoughts on the baby. So Wayne received a quick rundown from Brown about what happened before responding. Because Wayne doesn't always pay attention to that kind of stuff. Uh, so he says, you know how it does. The spotlight on artists and celebrities is absolutely crazy. You don't even have to be a celebrity. Even normal people can feel like they're wrong because their 200 followers said something but that's the power of social media today then he says uh doo -doo -doo -doo, they talk he talks about meeting with the past president he says progress is always possible and he said he didn't get much pushback for it all right uh yeah that's it man i appreciate you guys and i hope this is a good start to your day I appreciate you guys for watching me, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll be back with uh, something else in about an hour and a half, and I appreciate you guys so much. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Join as a member if you want, and I appreciate your support.